Hi, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Cyber Review. Today, we're talking with Gus Kawaha about his book, Kali Linux Penetration Testing Bible. He is an expert in application security and penetration testing. He's a cybersecurity consultant from Montreal, Canada, and has a depth of experience working with organizations to protect their assets from cyber attacks. He is a published author and an online educator in the cybersecurity field. Hi, Gus. Thank you for joining us. How are you? Thank you for having me. It's a great pleasure uh, to discuss with you today my book experience. So tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get into cybersecurity? Yes, uh, so uh, cybersecurity started with me as a hobby when I was a teenager uh, in the 90s. Uh, back then, I was a script kiddy using Windows 95 and 98. Uh, I continued as a hobbyist uh, while I was building my career as a .NET developer after graduation and until I started working full-time as a security professional in 2015. Okay. And since then, yes. Yes. And, Go on. <laughs> and since then, I'm practicing my uh, childhood interest as a cybersecurity consultant and teacher at the same time. Okay. So you are the author of Kali Linux uh, Penetration Testing Bible. So who is this book for? Oh, well, let's see. Um, uh, the book is for penetration testers, right? And uh, uh, well, I would say. The book is for beginners and intermediate penetration testers, to be specific, who want to learn more about the subject or maybe uh, fill the gap of what they have learned previously. And do the readers need to have any previous knowledge before getting your book? Um, not really. Uh, the book uh, will take into consideration that the reader is a beginner and will teach them the basics of the field. Uh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, they will need some general notion of ethical hacking and IT systems as well. Okay. And can you give us an overview of your book about the content and the things that are inside so people can get a little bit of uh, insight of what uh, is it about? Oh, yeah, sure. So uh, the book contains 18 chapters. Okay. So it covers a lot of topics. Um, it starts with the basics of Kali Linux and then goes through all the penetration testing processes. And at the end, the book teaches about more uh, advanced topics like Python script. Uh, so the students can also look online at the table of contents to inspect the titles in detail. Okay, and what makes this book uh, a must read for pen testers? Uh, well, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to say it's a must read for pen testers. Um, I don't want to take uh, the, I, I want to take the, the answer in a different perspective. Uh, uh, it's not only about my book, right? Uh, any book on the market is also, is also an investment in our skills, right? Uh, like Jim Ron says, um, it's not about what I'm getting, it's about what I am becoming. Um, so now I don't want to be biased uh, about uh, my book, uh, but uh, it covers a lot of topics in the field. 18 chapters will make sure that the students will be able to handle most of the subjects in penetration testing. Okay, sounds good. And tell us our uh, tell our audience where they can get your book and how they can reach out to you. Yes, um, obviously uh, the book can be found on Amazon, um, like everything else these days. And uh, anyone who wants to reach me, they can send me an invitation on LinkedIn. Also, they can get all my contact information on my blog website, uh, which is ethicalhackingblog.com. Okay. Uh, There's the contact page on the website with all the information they need to reach me. Okay, awesome. So we're going to make sure we put it under the screen so everybody can follow and get your uh, website and contact information. And we really thank you for your time. I wish you all the best with the book and looking forward to hearing more from other books you're going to be writing in the future. Hopefully. Thank you, Sophia. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye.